everybody, it's Android Gamer. I'm back with Gabriel Knight. Sons of the Father. Sins of the Father, rather, not sons. Did that before. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, let's load that. Okay, I'm in my room. Let's just see. Hints I have to do. Convince them. Great. Okay. And something else I actually discovered at the end of the last, after the last episode, that if you double click anywhere in the map, Gabriel teleports! You're a wizard, Gabriel! Okay, let's. Let's go. So we have. He's dead. Is that. So we want to first go to the university because the university professor called us. Um, no. Go over the other door. Hey, Hartridge, what's the good word? Uh, uh. Hartridge? He's dead. Oh god, not again. These look better. <laughs> Whatever Hartridge may have learned, he can't share it with Gabriel now. At nope. least not vocally. That would be up to the coroner. I'm not touching that body. There must be something here about what Hartridge found out about yes. that Vevey. This is a crime scene. Gabriel wants to disturb it as little as possible. There must be something here about what Hartridge... There must be something here about what Hartridge found out about that Vevey. Okay. There must be something here... This is a crime. Then let's get out. Is where'd the journal go? Oh, there's a journal. There must be something. Damn! This is his notepad. With the top sheet's been taken. Hartridge's <laughs> nose. This must be about the Veve. That's it. Nothing else looks related to my okay. case. Hartridge's notes are scribbled on the notepad paper. Thank God Hartridge was a doodler. Really? Okay. Before leaving the university, Gabriel notifies campus security oh, about Hartridge's <laughs> body. Uh, before we go to the station, let's go to Madam here. Well then, this is happening music. Welcome, Seeker. You must be the one Dr. John called me about. I guess so. My name is... Wait! Gabriel Knight. You're too quick for me. Actually, Dr. John told me. You have come to the right place, Mr. Knight. Tell me how I can help.
Could I ask you a few questions? Of course, Seeker. What can you tell me about voodoo? My practice is mainly selling charms and potions with magic power, such as Gree Gree and voodoo oils. You know, everything from unrequited love to wandering spouses mm -hmm. to winning a lawsuit. But my spells are powerful, and they work. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Why, that has nothing to do with me and my clientele. But I can tell you that you should stay as far from it as possible. That's more what I wanted to know. There is badness there. Very bad. What can you tell me about Nolens? Nolens is the center of voodoo practice in the United States. What are you talking about snakes? Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? You mean like my beloved Grimwald? She's a python, you know. Quite deadly in the wrong hands. I was trained by one of the great voodoo queens to learn how to hypnotize and handle snakes. Okay, do you want to help me with the museum? Because I need this museum. Yeah. Do you have any idea what Cabri San Carl means? No. No, I don't. Fine, I'm just go straight to it then. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve. It is the greatest night of the voodoo year. There is always a traditional conclave on St. John's Eve. Most of our voodoo churches these days hold functions in the church hall. But in the old days, they had ceremonies out in the wild. That's wild. They wore animal masks mm -hmm. and had a huge bonfire and dancing. I used to go when I was an apprentice. Sometimes in the swamp, you know, Bayou St. John. Sometimes at the lake. Lake Pontchartrain. Don't you know where anything is? Do you know anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? There are many voodoo churches in New Orleans, no? Yes, but have you heard of a secret voodoo houndfall? Wherever did you hear such a ridiculous story? There is no such thing. Why you lie? Do you know anything about Veve? I don't know anything about that. Uh, about Rimwall. What about her? Handling him. How did you learn how to handle Grimwald? I told you, a great voodoo queen taught me. She learned from Marie Laveau herself. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Fascinating. And scales. Would you consider giving me one of Grimwald's scales? No, I couldn't do that. You might do some gree gree of your own, no? No. One must be very careful I with such I just want to match to the one I already have. Hair clippings, nail parings, and snake scales. How about showing me how you handle Grimwald? Really? You would like to see me dance, perhaps? That would be swell. No matter what you see, do not be frightened. I'll give it my Wait, best. Is that the snake in the birdcage? Holy crap, it is. She has a snake in the birdcage. That doesn't seem to work that way. She's really not my... Is it the snake? Magentia's movements are as liquid and sinuous as those of the snake. Okay. Good enough. Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure how that would going to help me. There. Truly inspiring, isn't it? That's well, certainly one word for me. Calm down, Gabriel. Could I ask you a few more questions? Certainly. Let me check. 
Dr. John tells me you're a voodoo practitioner of some kind. Yes, I'm a voodoo in, a voodoo priestess. Give me an example of Gri Gri. All right, here's an old one. Take a lodestone and some brimstone to a crossroads at midnight. Light the brimstone with okay. a match. A spirit will come and give you advice in gambling. Okay, that's enough, I guess. I will be going now. A large crystal ball is prominently displayed. There's a chest in the corner that looks like a carnival machine. Well, I guess I'll be going now. As you wish. May the protection of the snake god go with you. Oh, uh, thanks. Huh. I'm to just think I might know now how to get it to bite me. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, no. Dr. John? Hello? The snake. Uh-oh. Can I? That won't help get the python off Gabriel. Gabriel's currently bonding with the museum's python. Uh -oh. I really don't want to be dead. Can we try that again? We try. Okay, so before I go in then, I want to figure out what to, to do with that. and then take one from the cage. Is that it? Okay. And let's go back to her place and do that. This apparently is not going to give me how to... get out. All those are about the leads. Okay, we'll get her to dance again and I'll get... Mr. Knight, how nice to see you. My pleasure, I'm sure. Please, be seated. Let's get right into it, please. Talk. Could I ask you a... Certainly. Good uh, about Grimwall. What about her? How about showing me your snake dance again? I won't make you wait, Monsieur Knight. I shall again amaze you. You certainly will. Oh dear. Come on. Okay. Gabriel grabs a shed snake skin while Magenta is otherwise occupied. That's done now.
There. Truly inspiring, isn't it? That's well, certainly one word for it. And now I will take my leave. Well, I guess I'll be going now. As you wish. Peace and harmony be yours. Right. Sure. Let's, I guess, go to the police station then. Hi. Three nearly identical little girls are playing jump rope outside the station. There's something a little off about them. Hey there, girls. The little girls stare at Gabriel, but say nothing to him. Okay. Can I join in? Gabriel's double dutch skills leave something to be desired. <laughs> okay, fine. Go in. Go talk to Mosley and get him to do the... Open up their case again. Mosley, my man. It's you. God help me. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. You open the case. How can I convince you to reopen the case? I already told you. You still need to prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Narland. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. Crash is dead. What? What are you talking about? I let him go yesterday. Yeah, and I watched him die yesterday at St. Louis Cathedral. At the cathedral? I guess he was trying to get a last-minute A-train ticket, huh? Poor bastard. I think you should go find the body at the morgue. He was killed by the voodoo cult. Crash said... Crash said? What, he mentioned pink elephants, too? Aren't you going to investigate? Civilians. Did you actually see someone kill him? No. Actually, I was with him when he died. Could have been poison, though. Yeah, well, when they get the body in, they'll do a quick autopsy, standard procedure. If it's anything other than an overdose, I'll get a report. This case. There's been another murder. A professor at Tulane. Oh, Christ. You're not gonna start this again. Just listen. This guy's name is Hartridge. He was a professor in African studies at Tulane. Well, yesterday I went to see him about the voodoo murders case. He agreed to do some research for me. He calls me up this morning, tells me he's on to something big, and when I get over there, the guy's dead. You know, you're really getting your ass in a sling over this thing, Knight. It's not about me. Look, Hartridge's death looked just like Crash's. I'm telling you, they were both mm -hmm. murdered, and by the same people who did the voodoo murders. Did either Crash or this new guy have their hearts ripped out? No. Then there's nothing to link either to the voodoo murders M.O. Besides that, the case no, is it's not. tonight. If the coroner's report asks for a homicide investigation on either of these guys, fine. But it's not going to be related to the voodoo murders case unless we find damn good reason to do so. But I'm the link to the voodoo murders case. Don't you see? Look, if I were you, I wouldn't repeat that to anyone. Because if I weren't an old friend of yours, I might take you seriously and lock you up. As it is, maybe you should start keeping your mouth shut and not involve other people with this shit if you think it's so dangerous. Uh, can I give him the... I may have to do it out here. Uh, this. I'll give him this first. I took this tracing from a tattoo on Crash's chest. It's related to the underworld voodoo cult. Yeah? What makes you think that? It's what Crash said just before he died. He was probably hallucinating from the drugs he OD'd on. Probably got that in the Navy or something. No, I'm sure it's related. It's a snake, see? And if... 
Even if it were a signal of some sort, that doesn't prove that the murders were done by a legit voodoo cult. Okay. Let's show him the bracelet and see what happens. I have this snake bracelet. It's a replica of one used in secret voodoo ceremonies a few decades ago. Really? What makes you think so? I got it from an old Creole lady whose grandmother was an acolyte of Marie Laveau. Gabriel, Gabriel. We get those little old ladies in here all the time. That bracelet is probably not genuine, and it wouldn't prove anything if it were. Hmm. You're a dense man. Anything else? No. Can I look at this now? Gabriel magnifies the shed skin from a gentle moonbeam snake. The snake scales are hued brown. They don't match the scales from Lake Poncha Train. Okay. Okay. Let's go outside then. I'm gonna hit the road. Ciao, baby. dark in here. Dr. John? Hello? Uh-oh. Can I use the brick on it at all? That doesn't work that way. That won't help. I really okay. don't want to be dead. Can we try that again? Okay. Go here. I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. Really? I forgot you were gone. Talk to you. Got a minute, Greg? What's up? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to do some further research and figure out what's going on. Uh, so, yeah. Looks like we're about halfway through and things are definitely starting to come along. Uh, if you want to keep watching, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I know a lot of people that are on this or watching are not subscribed, uh, so subscribing will really help me out. And this is the Android Gamer, later days, and happy gaming!